Hi everyone, Diego here from De Oro Music. Welcome to our new series on the flamenco style of rondeña. The examples in these, this lesson and subsequent lessons will be based on a composition of mine called a Jonjoli, and we won't be using a capo for any of these examples. Our rondeña tuning, as always, is drop D, A, D, F sharp, B, and E. So falsetto one, we see a combination of techniques. Ligados with the left hand going into picados with the right. And I want to start off this first idea with barring, partial bar on strings three and two. That's going to be really useful throughout this entire introduction. So with the bar, I slur. The answer to that now, again, starting out just the same, partial bar slur going into picados. we see a hammer-on from nothing. When we go to string three, we just sound it with a, with a hammer to get our first note on string three. Down to our C-sharp chord. Next ideas. Starts out the same. Partial bar. Slur to picados. Now, that slur is a little different. From third finger, hammer four, pull off now. Chromatic. Three, two, one. Next part. Uh, hammer from nothing. To our A major 7 chord there. Now we're going to climb up a bit more. Again, starting with my partial bar. Chromatic slur again. Four, three, two, one. Now, what we have there, our thumb resting on string six and our middle finger on string two are both going to play, but our middle finger, we need a strong free stroke and to get some other strings, at the very least, string three in there. Here I want to land on finger three to allow me the pull off to get comfortably to my D7 chord here. So again, that's finish off. Now same idea that we saw before but strings two and one. Starting with slurs and we've got the partial bar on strings two and one. Now really key to getting into this, this is an A major seven chord, really key to getting into this is to slide that fourth finger back, if you can see that. Always looking for common fingers when we can uh, move into chords. It just makes it so much easier. Full bar. Now, here, on 
on this D major seven chord, we've got that, that loop. So we prepare fingers I, M, A on strings one, two, three. Our thumb is going to use rest stroke to drag through the strings. And then we finish with our free stroke fingers till we get to our ring finger. That one is going to do rest stroke all the way back. Gives us a nice powerful loop. Very useful, very common. Now the answer to that, again, starting out the same with our partial bar strings one and two. do the first half of that, that, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, <laughs> that, the first half of that thing, um, only free stroke with all our fingers, only going up, leading into this slur section. Then with our thumb technique, pulgar. Doesn't matter how far you slide. Slur with our fourth finger there. And that leads into the next falsetto. practice the technique necessary for this falsetta, really we can break the technique down into just two simple uh, exercises. First one being with our partial bar, uh, we're going to pick string three with our I finger and hammer, and then string two with our M finger. This is a really common theme, and if you get that down, you're halfway to uh, being able to pull off this, uh, this falsetta. And the other thing would be to work on triplets with the right hand picados. Uh, alternating, so start with M, and then start with I, and then M, I putting the accent on the last note. And uh, that is most of what's happening in this piece, technically. Mm -hmm. 
Some advice about the interpretation of this falsetta is just think about tension and release, tension and release. So creating the tension and then release. Tension. And overall, just as it goes uh, from beginning to end, it, it gains more and more momentum. Keep that in mind, and that'll go a long way to interpreting this falsetto. Mm -hmm.